The saphenous nerve block is a single nerve block that can be performed at the level of the knee or at the level of the ankle. Here we present the block at both locations. It is important to recognize that the saphenous block is often performed as a supplement to the popliteal block or ankle block. As illustrated in the figure, the anterior cutaneous nerve distribution in the lower leg includes the lateral cutaneous nerve, the saphenous nerve, and the superficial and deep perineal nerves, which are branches of the common perineal nerve. Thus, an isolated saphenous nerve block provides patchy regional anesthesia when performed alone. Prior to initiating the saphenous nerve block, obtain a tuberculin syringe with half-inch 25-gauge needle, 1% lidocaine, a 10-milliliter syringe with 1.5-inch 22-gauge needle, 10 milliliters of the local anesthetic of your choice, gauze, and a povidone iodine swab. The saphenous block may be indicated for surgery on the lower leg when combined with the popliteal block. Together, the two blocks anesthetize the saphenous, popliteal, common, and superficial perineal nerves. The patient should lie in the supine position on the table with the leg and foot flat. Palpate the side of the knee posterior to the sartorius muscle. Palpate the tibial tubercle, the bony prominence 2 to 3 centimeters inferior to the patella. This will be the point of needle insertion. Prep the area where the needle is to be inserted. Start at the tibial tuberosity and proceed linearly toward the tibial condyle. Repeat the prep three times, allowing the prep solution to dry before needle insertion. Using a tuberculin syringe and attached 25 gauge needle, create a wheel with 1% lidocaine in the cutaneous tissue over the tibial tuberosity. Insert the 22 gauge needle into the cutaneous skin wheel at the tibial tuberosity. Direct the tip of the needle medially toward the tibial condyle, injecting anesthetic during insertion. Reinsert the needle into the cutaneous wheel 2 centimeters from the tibial tuberosity and again direct the needle medially. Inject the local anesthetic in a ring technique infiltrating linearly to the dorsomedial aspect of the tibial condyle. Inject approximately 10 milliliters, causing the subcutaneous tissue to visually rise. When performed at the level of the ankle, the saphenous block is performed as part of a field block. It may be used for foot and ankle surgery. Refer to the ankle block chapter for further detail. The patient should lie in the supine position on the table with the leg and foot flat. Palpate the medial malleolus. This will be your site of needle insertion. If the block occurs at the level of the ankle, use the povidone iodine solution to cleanse the skin overlying the medial malleolus. Clean the area circumferentially. Allow the prep solution to dry. Using the 25 gauge needle, create a wheel in the cutaneous tissue over the medial malleolus with 1% lidocaine. Insert the 22 gauge needle through the skin wheel, directing the needle posteriorly toward the Achilles tendon. Inject 3 milliliters of local anesthetic. Reinsert the needle into the raised tissue and inject an additional 3 milliliters of local anesthetic anterior to the malleolus, appreciably raising the cutaneous tissue. The great saphenous vein runs anterior to the medial malleolus, so caution needs to be taken during injection. Aspirate the syringe prior to injection to prevent introducing anesthetic into the intravascular space. The saphenous block is a minimally invasive procedure requiring little post-procedure care. 
Upon completion of the block, the leg and foot can be positioned for surgery. As with any regional block, allow adequate time to achieve the complete effect of anesthesia prior to surgical incision.